Alamin po natin ano ang latest IATF protocol na inannounce ngayon, March 11, 2022, that is related sa ating entry here in the Philippines kapag dumating po kayo sa ating bansa. Watch this video and find out! Magandang araw po sa inyong lahat mga kabayan at kaibigan. Welcome po sa ating channel. Ito po ang Jamie Iris Talk TV kung saan. Pag-uusapan po natin ngayon, ano po ba yung latest IATF protocol? O tinatawag po natin IATF Resolution 164. Ididiscuss po natin yan specifically po. Ano po ba yung link sa arrival protocol ninyong mga pa? uwi po ng Pilipinas. Uh, with that, nais ko pong i-welcome ang lahat po ng ating mga subscribers na palagi pong nanonood sa atin and at the same time po, welcome din sa mga bagong viewers natin. Uh, kung nais niyo pong mag-subscribe sa aking channel, ako po'y nagagalak at iniimbitahan kayo na mag-subscribe po sa aking channel so that you'll get updated with daily video vlogs regarding travel guidelines, protocols, at ganun din po mga current events and other informative and inspiring videos. So let us just take a look na po. Ano po ba yung latest IATF Resolution 164 and ano po yung link sa nito regarding sa arrival po ninyo? Now, kung natatandaan nyo po mga kabayan at kaibigan, when we talk about arrival protocols, ang unang-una na po dyan is yung ating tinatawag na negative RT-PCR test taken within 48 hours before your flight. Ngayon po, ano na po yung latest update? Ito na po. Uh, those are both for the Filipinos and foreign nationals. So, I will be creating po, I do have another video po para sa ating mga foreign nationals. So, if in case may kakilala kayo, they want to understand what are the updates, then kindly share to them the English version of this video. So, uh, kindly just uh, go to my channel and then you'll find it. Inanunsyo po ni Acting Deputy Presidential Spokesperson Under Secretary Michael Christian Ablan ngayong araw ng March 11 na inamendahan na po ng pamahalaan ang mga patakaran ng IATF para sa mga turistang magmumula sa mga bansang visa-free o tinatawag po nating bansang galing po sa Executive Order 408. Mula po sa PTV uh, News, sinasabi po nila na ang mga entry, testing, and quarantine protocols para sa mga dayuhang darating mula po sa ating, uh, mula po sa ibang bansa sa ilalim ng provision ng resolution number 160B dated February 3, 2022 na inamyendahan po ng resolution 160 D dated February 10, ito na po ang latest update, ang IF Resolu IATF Resolution number 164. Sinasabi po nila dito na ang entry, testing, and protocols po for foreign nationals arriving from overseas or abroad under the following provisions of Resolution number 160B uh, dated February 3, 2022 at gayon din po inamendahan po or amended by Resolution 160D dated February 10, 2022 are further amended. So, uh, na-amendahan na before and then now uh, it's further amended everyone. So anyway, let us just take a look. So for foreign nationals entering the Philippines visa-free, number one, Foreign nationals traveling to the Philippines for business and tourism purposes may enter the Philippines without any visa provided that they are citizens or nationals of the following country entitled to stay not exceeding 30 days under Executive Order 408, Series 1960. And then, letter C po, sinasabi dito, are holders of Hong Kong Special Administrative Region or Macau SAR passports entitled to stay for a period of not exceeding 14 days. Now, sinasabi din po dito na ang mga foreign nationals traveling to the Philippines for business and tourism purposes may enter the Philippines without visas provided they, eto na po ang pagbabago, present a negative RT-PCR test taken within 48 hours or, eto na po, addition, a negative laboratory-based antigen test taken within 24 hours before or prior to the date and time of departure from the country of origin or por first port of embarkation in a continuous travel in the Philippines, excluding layovers provided that he or she 
has not left the airport premises or has not been admitted into another country during such layover. So, ang bago po natin mga kabayan sa ating mga foreign tourists, if you have fiancé, boyfriend, loved ones mo, o mga kaibigan na punta po sa Pilipinas, so maari na po silang pumasok sa Pilipinas. The other requirements remain the same. Ang nagbago lang po, or let us just say na dagdag, uh, retain pa rin po yung negative RT-PCR test requirement na taken within 48 hours before uh, their flight. Ngayon, binigyan na po ng option na OR. Maari din naman po na mag-present ng eto, negative laboratory based antigen test taken within 24 hours before the flight. So, para po sa mga Filipinos, ganito po, uh, shall be amended to read as follows. Dalawang category po tayo, di ba? Pag Filipino, fully vaccinated and yung isa naman po not vaccinated or partially vaccinated or status of the vaccination cannot be confirmed. So what will happen? All the rest of the requirements discussed in the previous videos will remain the same. The only thing will change is the same. As for the foreign nationals, you have to present a negative. Yan. Reverse transcription or RT-PCR. test taken within 48 hours before your flight or now there's another option a negative laboratory based antigen test taken within 24 hours before your flight so yan po mga kabayan so pwede na po kayong uh, kumbaga magmamili between an RT-PCR test especially for those na nahihirapan kasi nga sabi nyo maaring uh, malayo or wala doon sa area nyo ng RT-PCR test, so magpaari po kayo mag-avail nito ang tinatawag na negative laboratory-based antigen test taken within 24 hours before your flight, or a laboratory-based antigen test taken within uh, 24 oras po na kailangan negative po ang resulta niyan, mga kabayan. So, uh, it's getting better po in terms of the requirements. Kung nakikita nyo po, unti-unti na we are loosening uh, further yung ating mga restrictions and ngayon naman po yung RT-PCR test so hoping uh, later on mas maging better pa po ito for all the travelers but at the same time ensuring that we are being kept safe from this uh, virus And that's it mga kabayan at kaibigan, yan po ang ating latest update po regarding IATF-164 that is related to your arrival protocol. Marami pa po silang diniscuss sa IATF-164 uh, na resolution pero diniscuss ko na po yan dun sa isa po nating video. You can simply watch that but I just simply want to ensure that at least uh, meron po tayong separate video regarding arrival protocol. So again, recap po natin ano-ano po ba yung mga kinakailangan na sa arrival protocol po ninyo. So, unang-una, ito na po, negative RT-PCR test taken within 48 hours before your flight or uh, laboratory-based antigen po na tinatawag po nila na kinakailangan po uh, taken within 24 hours before your flight. So, yan po ang options natin. Pangalawa, just make sure that you also have what we call the vaccination certificate that is required by the country or by the Philippines. So, uh, didiscuss po natin yan doon sa arrival protocols po natin in complete po para nang sa gayon ay uh, makita po ninyo. At ano ba yung mga bansa na meron na po tayong tinatawag na accepted uh, vaccination certificate. Uh, and then, what else? Uh, number three, one half pass po, kinakailangan kumpletuhin. Remember po, katulad nung nabanggit ko doon sa isang video ko, uh, kapag OFW, no need to upload documents, pero dali nyo yan sa airport. However, non-OFW and foreigners, you still have to upload the documents, the vaccination certificate, and the negative RT-PCR test or the negative antigen uh, swab test result. And then, uh, what else? So, that's three. Passport. So, uh, just make sure, again, if you're a Filipino, uh, hindi expired ang passport mo. Kung ikaw naman ay foreign national holding uh, or a, Filip a former Filipino holding a foreign passport and for foreigners, you have to ensure that your passport is at least valid uh, six months or more. And then after that, uh, return ticket. So foreign nationals and former, and foreign nationals actually will have to ensure to have a return ticket 
upon entering the Philippines. Now, former Filipinos, if you'll be traveling with foreign national spouse or children, then they don't need to actually uh, present a return ticket because you are traveling with them. So they can be exempted for that. However, if they are not traveling with you, they do have to present a return ticket. Last but not the least is the travel insurance. So again, when we talk about travel insurance, everyone, it must have a minimum coverage of 35 US dollars or if it's in another currency, currency must be equivalent to at least that amount that will cover your uh, COVID-19 treatment on, uh, during the duration of your stay here in the Philippines. Now, who needs to provide the travel insurance? Again, uh, let us talk first who are not required. All Filipinos and dual citizen with Filipino passport, you are not required to present any travel insurance. However, all former Filipinos who do not have any Filipino passport, you're holding a foreign passport, then you do have to present a travel insurance equivalent to your stay in the Philippines. So, your coverage niya must be equal to your stay or of duration in the Philippines. So looking forward, everyone, that's quite clear to everyone. Oh, by the way, uh, by the way, uh, there's another requirement. This is what we call the Chase app. Now, what about the Chase app? The Chase app, again, this is mandatory for everyone to actually um, download and then register for. Now, uh, a lot are asking, Jamie, is this something that we need Okay, number one, it's mandatory. It's in the list of what you have to complete. However, when you reach the Philippines, I cannot guarantee that every, uh, I mean, every one of you will be asked for it because it depends upon the airport and depends upon, uh, I mean, the airport official. In Cebu, a lot of my subscribers and some of my colleagues had mentioned that it was asked. Now, I arrived in Clark and some arrived in, for example, Manila Terminal. A lot of you had mentioned that it was not asked from you i mean for those who already went home now why are we asking you to at least still complete it because again it says it's mandatory however at this point in time since uh some of them are not really asking for it do we still have to complete it jamie uh for the purposes of uh compliance yes because again sometimes i heard from some of the subscribers they see at the layover airport they are asked to show the chase app and since they were not able to download it because they thought you know it's not really being checked so they still have to do it at the airport now for me to avoid any extra hassle or stress for you better complete it before you fly uh, because eventually once you depart from manila or from the philippines back to your uh I mean, your country where you are now residing or working, you will still be asked this Chase app. And that I can guarantee from the, from the departure in the Philippines, they will be asking that from you. At this point in time, again, uh, it may not be asked from you, but at least you have it less stress when you are in the airport. And at the same time, at least you comply. Whether you have it or not, you're prepared. And it will only take less than 10 minutes, everyone, for you to actually complete that. Uh, depends on how fast your internet, but for me it was just simply so fast it was less than 10 minutes i asked some people also they said it was fast it takes like a few minutes only so again everyone for those who are asking am i really required jamie uh yes mandatorily we are but again uh is this really actually being checked in the philippines my answer is no uh based from my own experience based from our subscribers and some of my colleagues experiences so the answer is it's not all the time checked upon arrival but upon departure Yes, for me, it was checked when I departed from the Philippines. A lot of people I knew when they departed from the Philippines, it was checked. So, well, I mean, whichever way, arrival or departure, at least you have it, everyone. So, other than that, mga kabayan, yan po ang mga kailangan ngayon po when it comes to arrival protocol here in the Philippines. Should you have some questions, please let me know. Drop it down in the comment box. So, with that, everyone, uh, stay safe, stay healthy, and I look forward to see you in my other video. God bless you. Uh, lagi niyo po tatandaan saan man po dako ng mundo, taas to, tayo po yung mga Filipino.